Hi, welcome to the video series on stroke heart fact sheets. This topic is on occupational therapy. What is occupational therapy? It is a healthcare profession that aims to enable people to participate in daily activities that they need to or want to do. Occupational therapies help people to participate in areas of self-care, work or leisure after a stroke. So how can they help? Occupational therapists use everyday activities in your rehabilitation journey to help you achieve your goals. Your occupational therapist will work with you to relearn skills and problem solve to improve your ability to perform activities that's important to you. They may also help you to find new ways of doing things or recommend assistive, adaptive equipment that could enhance your participation in daily activities, such as shower chair for showering or a wheelchair to assist in mobility. To ensure your safety at home, occupational therapists may also advise on home modification and conduct caregiver trainings. Other than self-care, they will also assess your ability to manage day-to-day -day activities such as shopping, cooking a meal, managing money, and work-related tasks. In the acute hospital, you will be seen by an occupational therapist when you are medically stable, following which you may continue to receive rehabilitation in a specialised rehab unit in the hospital or community hospital. After your discharge, therapy may continue in the hospital outpatient clinics, day rehab centres or home-based therapy services. It is important to talk to your doctor and therapist to find out what is best for you. If possible, we encourage your carer or family members to attend the rehab sessions with you. They can be a source of social support for you and also assist you during your recovery process. Your occupational therapist can also train your carer or family members to provide the appropriate level of assistance for you where required. Here are some tips for recovery. Practice the activities suggested by the occupational therapist regularly. The more you practice, the better your chances of recovery. Do involve and move your affected site as much as possible during daily tasks. Be patient and aim for long-term rather than immediate results. The exercises may tire you out easily at first. However, it is still important to participate and build up your endurance gradually. You can use a notebook to record your progress. You can also find out more about community resources. For example, you may join stroke support organisations such as Singapore National Stroke Association or Stroke Support Station, S3. You may find out more topics like this on Stroke Hub at www.healthhub.sg slash strokehub. It's a resource guide for stroke survivors and their caregivers. This is also available via the Health Hub app. Thanks for listening!